The tobacco hornworm, common names, Carolina sphinx, hummingbird moth, six spotted sphinx, tobacco fly, and tobacco hornworm. Most people around here in Texas just call it a, a tomato hornworm. Its order is Lepidoptera because it turns into a beautiful moth. The adult size is about two and a half inches and the larval size is three to four inches. As you can see this one is probably in that range. They're dark gray moths with six orange yellow spots on each side of the abdomen and caterpillars um, that are large and green with diag diagonal white lines and a red horn at the rear. The tomato hornworm has a black tail. This one does not have a black tail, so it is a definitely a tobacco hornworm. They start out as large green eggs uh, and then turn into a large green caterpillar larva. Uh, the pupae have a tongue case resembling the handle of a pitcher and the adults uh, are nectar eating moths. Um, this insect is also uh, almost identical to the tomato hornworm, uh, so that's, that's why a lot of people get them confused. Um, they love to eat tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, green peppers, tobacco, and other plants in the nightshade family. Uh, they also like various weeds. Uh, I wish they liked more weeds in my garden, uh, but they like tomatoes instead. Uh, they'll strip one in a very, very short period of time. Uh, and look at some of the other pictures that are on this article, and you'll see uh, you'll see one that was in a six-inch pot. That uh, although it wasn't the most beautiful tomato hornworm plant um, it is definitely the ugliest now so they eat the foliage um, they do it mostly at night though so that's why whenever you get up in the morning uh, oftentimes you'll find that your tomato plants have just been stripped uh, and that's just because they do that at night um, and you know because they do eat so fast um, you know if you have a large planting of tomatoes I mean they'll, they'll devastate it uh, in a hurry so uh, to kill them though, or to control them, um, parasitic wasps and birds, uh, brachynid wasps and uh, trichogramma wasps, uh, they parasitize the eggs. So if you can get a hold of some of the uh, trichogramma wasps, um, you know, definitely put that out um, and that will help control them before they become a problem. Uh, after they become a problem, um, well, you can either hand pick them off, which is uh, uh, what I'm going to do in this case, um, and then beyond that you can use uh, BT. Uh, Bacillus thuringiensis uh, that will kill them um, but overall if you have a large crop spraying for them is a big waste of time and money because you basically have to hit them with the spray uh, so be vigilant uh, always keep an eye on your crops um, and uh, admire them for the beauty that they are uh, they are one of God's creatures and the Lord has put them here to serve a purpose um, the way I feel uh, that purpose is not in my garden um, but uh, I'm sure that uh, the Lord knows exactly what that purpose is, and I won't question it. Thanks for checking out Me and B. I uh, hope you'll come back again soon. Uh, thanks again. Bye.